All righty, so I got to do the VIP experience at Canada's Wonderland, um, an experience that they'll be doing at all four, well, three now, of the fireworks shows uh, for the remainder of the season. Basically, what it is, is you get a really fancy meal, well, fancy for a theme park, <laughs> a really fancy meal, um, unlimited snacks, unlimited drinks, and a balcony uh, view of the fireworks. It is unmatched. Like, look at this view. That's where the fireworks are about to take place. And uh, honestly, it was great. Uh, the service was great. Um, the food was really good. So essentially, it's the same food with a little bit of enhancement. So the beef brisket is on two buns. You get two sides. It's a really really large portion of food. I couldn't even finish my food and I'm a bigger guy. Uh, but here's the food selection. So you have the same old chicken, but it had more seasoning on it. Everything is cooked a lot fresher because obviously it's only for 175 people max. Um, so the food was great. Uh, honestly, it was a really good experience. It was some of the best food I've had at Canada's Wonderland ever. Um, the vegetables were actually really good. I got them this time because I was so done with like the theme park food for the day. Um, but I'm about to show you guys the portioning size because it's insane. And then you get unlimited snacks on top of it and unlimited drinks. And I heard that they're going to be exploring um, some alcohol uh, beverages as well for the future ones possibly. Um, so here is the portion size. The macaroni and cheese was really good today. Normally I hate it at Wonderland, but it was great. And the vegetables, again, amazing. Outside of that, uh, it cost only $50, which is a, a huge, um, like, that. that's a discount in my opinion. They could have charged about $75 to $100 per person, I think. Um, and yeah, it comes with a really fantastic view. So here's the view I had for the fireworks show, and you have speakers all around you up there, so you're getting a really good sound quality, um, and it's a really great experience. Honestly, um, you know me, I will give an honest uh, review of things that Canada's wanted, and I'm not going to sit here and give you guys a fake review. Um, I will speak my mind, and I, 10 out of 10, recommend this, especially for the $50 price tag. Um, I know they'll probably raise it a bit, especially if they do explore the alcohol option. Um, but yeah, 100% worth it. I would pay anywhere between $80 to $100 for this experience in the future as well. Um, outside of that, um, Wonderland finally opened the grass hill below for the general public. So that was really awesome to see as well. Um, so definitely a lot more areas to view the fireworks from. Uh, Wonderland's honestly done a really good job on improving things all around, and I think the last thing that Wonderland needs to really work on is their front gate and uh, the cars exiting the parking lot at the end of the night. Those are two things that I think that I would really love to see Wonderland work on um, over the next couple of years. Obviously, they can't fix this um, right, <laughs> right away. So those are the only two um, things that I kind of would give a negative review for my experience for the fireworks show this year. Outside of that, it was really busy today and Wonderland handled it really well. So uh, kudos to Wonderland and kudos to the entertainment department and the food department um, for this amazing VIP experience today. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.